Welcome back to my channel. I know I've been delayed on getting my readings out, but whew, the month of December was rough for me. Pretty sick with the holidays and a buildup of personal readings. As always, I do offer um, readings down below. So if you're interested in working one-on-one -on -one with me, but in January, I am going to be hosting a special um, group coaching, one-on-one -on -one coaching for Venus Retrograde, revising your relationships to money and love. So if you're interested in joining in, I have five spots. It's going to be really intimate so I can focus on each individual. Um, be sure to check that out in the link in the description box. Otherwise, I'm not going to talk anymore. I'm going to jump right into the reading. I know you guys don't like to hear me talk. So, um, Let's dive in. The song I got on shuffle for you guys, this is going to be a monthly reading focusing on what you can expect for the month of January. Um, so the reading that I got, the song that I got was Together Again by uh, Nico and Sway. And it's a, it's a jam. It's a jam. But it's like, I need to know, is there someone in there in your bed or are you home alone? Um, I'm not over you when I'm under the influence. So I mean, the first the first thing is like, we are in Venus retrograde, okay? So um, some ghosts from the past, some ghosts from the past might come forward or kind of like those memories of ghosts from the past. Um, so let's dive in, let's get some Oracle cards and see what's, what's popping up here for my Virgos in the month ahead. We have action, awaken the warrior woman within. And we have trust, faith, and power in the universe. So you could be taking action towards something, kind of a leap of faith it feels like at some point. Um, and a new beginning, have courage to open a new door. So it looks like, oh, speak up. Use your voice to express yourself. So it seems like you're having some kind of new beginning coming up here in the month of January. Um, something that you're going to be taking action towards, something that you're going to be taking some kind of leap of faith towards. Let's get some of the Moonology cards. And just a reminder, um, the Oracle cards and the Tarot, if you like them, you can purchase them using the link down below in the description box. Okay, Moonology cards, please. A new start is coming. Wow, that's double confirmation that there is some kind of new beginning happening. Your hard work is paying off. One more, please. Ooh, be bold and make the first move. Look at this. This is kind of confirming that action card and this one wants to pop out. Look at the bigger picture. Um, full moon in Sagittarius. So it does feel like you're taking some kind of action towards something, some kind of leap of faith that might be uh, part of your long-term goals, part of your long-term goals, but you're definitely, there's definitely some kind of new beginning happening for you. And it's something you've built up to. It's like now you're ready to take action. So let's look at the bottom of the deck. We have the Queen of Wands. So very powerful energy here. This is kind of standing in your power. This could be like your creative power, standing in your confidence and like assurance of self. So there's definitely some kind of like fiery energy happening here. There's some kind of confident energy that seems to be helping you in regards to whatever new beginning you're about to take on. So let's look at the overall energy here. Ooh, damn, the tower. The tower showed up right away. Right away. All right, tower card. Why is that tower card there? It looks like there's going to be a big... Oh, shit, the Hierophant. Um, so Taurus energy here, Scorpio energy here. This also, like, when the nodes move into Taurus and Scorpio, definitely check your charts. If you are astro savvy, I would check your charts to see what area of life that Taurus and Scorpio rule over, which houses Scorpio and Taurus rule over, because there could be some kind of significance about this new beginning in that area of your life. It looks like here with the Hierophant, there could be some kind of offer of commitment. To be honest with you, it, it, it might not be in regards to love. It's more like divine purpose, but it's like something comes in unexpectedly that requires 
maybe commitment and dedication, um, giving yourself over to a higher power. I'm going to pull one more because I'm really intrigued. What is this tower and hierophant doing here? The seven of cups, commitment to like a dream, commitment to um, something that's still in the ethers, I feel like. I feel like whatever this is, it's still in the ethers, which is kind of like that look at the bigger picture. Very Neptunian energy. So let's keep looking. All right, we have perspective. So the hangman showing up here. We have transformation, the death card. All right, damn. Um, January is going to be a big month, huh? And then we have the Ace of Wands. Ooh, I like that energy. I like that energy. So the Ace of Wands is kind of like this taking action, that fiery energy that's showing up here. Hangman is sort of like you waiting. You're, you're gathering perspective here and you're waiting for the right moment. I feel like whatever this is, you're going through a transition moment right now. You might feel like things are slow and you're in that hangman energy, like waiting on a sign, waiting on something. But in reality, you're sitting in this energy of transformation. You're in the you're in the cocoon right now. You know what I'm saying? It's like you're in the cocoon right now and maybe you don't realize it. And pretty soon you're going to emerge as like the butterfly with this Ace of Wands energy. Um, perspective. Like shit's going to rev up really fast for you. I just feel like there's some kind of opportunity coming in really quickly. And that's why the tower's there. It's like some opportunity comes in really quickly. Some kind of offer comes in really quickly that requires some kind of, you know, commitment. Let's see what's the perspective doing here. But nothing shows up for you unless it's you're ready for it. So just remember that. We have the six of crystals, six of pentacles. This talks about unexpected offers, unexpected promotions, unexpected abundance coming towards you. It's definitely a return on investment. So the time you've been taking to uh, weigh out perspective, the time you've been taking to uh, channel that sort of energy, like maybe you think like I've done nothing, but it's not true. You have been gaining perspective and clarity and something's going to show up due to this transformation you've been going through. Ace of Wands here. What's the Ace of Wands doing here? We have the Page of Crystals. This is that offer. There's something, there's like something tangible coming in. Something tangible coming in for you. At the moment, it might feel like a little bit out of reach. So you're not even, but it's like something that, like look at how it's above and she's kind of reaching for it. Like if she were to jump, if she were to jump and take that leap, you, you, like you could grab it feels like that's this energy it's like something that's going to show itself to you it might be a little bit out of reach but you just have to jump to get it and that's kind of that action be bold make the first move something's going to be showing up for you that you might have to do a little bit of stepping towards it ten of crystals damn the star card virgo what and the magician, ooh, lots of ones. So we here, we're here at this new beginning. The star card, this is hope. This is, there's a lot of major arcana. So there's something happening here that's like a big thing. With that together again song, mind you with Venus retrograde, this could be past financial opportunities reemerging or like past dreams that come, come revisit. What's the 10 of crystals doing here? This is that like fulfillment oh we have the seven of swords came out the king of crystals and the wheel of fortune so that seven of swords to me here with the ten of crystals it's like you've reached the completion of something you're in this really stable energy but i feel like you've convinced yourself that you're not but with this wheel of fortune here, I want to pull what the wheel of fortune is leading us towards. This is very Jupiterian energy of like faded luck, something lucky. What's happening here? Oh, queen of swords, queen of swords. You're getting clear on something. Queen of swords and king of swords. Damn. So counterpart energy, counterpart energy, air sign, lots of air signs. So this could be communication. Um, this could be like contract sometimes when queen of swords king of swords come out it's also like 
argument or disagreement i i interpret it like that because the like it's very like com conversational so there could be a conversation happening there could be contract signing happening um this could talk about counterparts like meaning some kind of intellectual match but with the seven of swords there it's almost like why is that seven of swords here the page of wands it's like you're convincing yourself out of a fear of change, you're holding yourself back from whatever this is. You're holding yourself back from whatever this is. It's like you have it set in your mind and that King of Swords is coming up. It's like needing to be in that masculine energy of like speaking, being direct, being direct about what you want and taking action towards what you want. That's the next step of manifesting. The Magician. What's the Magician doing here, please? The Page of Swords. Yeah, see, this is all like... A lot of the energy currently is observing. It's like been in observation mode. Like I want this thing, I'm wishing for this thing, and there's gonna be this opportunity for you to take action. Um, I feel like the opportunity is already there, but the universe is gonna nudge you pretty hard because I think you haven't taken the opportunity because something in your brain is telling you you're not ready for it, you're not, um, like you're not ready for change, like I'm so, rooted and grounded where I am. I don't need that. Like there's something you're convincing yourself not to go for what this is, this wish fulfillment. Look, the two of swords, blocking it out. Blocking that out, even though you know inside. The nine of cups, lots of wish fulfillment happening here. The chariot, but it's like also like fortune favors the bold. Fortune favors the bold. Your lesson here is to take action. <laughs> It's like, you know what you got to do. What's the two of swords doing here, please? King of cups. And the nine of crystals. So a lot about like self-reliance. It's like, you don't really need whatever this is. You don't need anybody else to make it happen. You just need yourself and you just need to take action and follow your heart. It's like less about the mind and following your heart. Nine of Cups, the Chariot. What's the Chariot doing here? Cancerian Energy. What is the Chariot doing here? The Moon card. Um, and the Seven of Crystals and the Lovers card. Wow. So there definitely needs to be a decision made here. Uh, moving past subconscious fears. Like there's still this illusion and it has a lot to do with patience too. Like it requires trust. It requires patience. It's like, even when we take action, not talking ourselves out of the action because it's going to take so much time for this to happen or so much time to make it happen or investing the time with the lovers there, Gemini energy. Obviously this can talk about a relationship. This can talk about that divine partnership, but I do feel like this is more so like a, a faded decision or event that's taking place in your life. Something that you put the work and energy into and now it's just deciding, okay, this is what I want. This is what I'm gonna go for. And not convincing yourself that, you know, um, oh, but I'm so content. I'm so happy where I am. Like I don't need, maybe I don't need that. Cause it does look like even though you move away from it or you convince yourself, you're still eyeing this, whatever this is. Let's see. So what's happening for Virgo in the month of January? What's coming towards Virgo in the month of January? We have the Page of Cups. So the Five of Cups, that's an apology. There is an apology coming towards you. That could be unrelated to all of this stuff. Who is this apology from? The Ace of Swords. Um some kind of truth, some kind of communication, closure. This could be closure. This could be totally unrelated. Maybe you're seeking your own closure, but there is there is some kind of closure coming towards you in the month of January. Um, let's see, what is it that you are moving towards in the month of January here? Moving towards in the month of January. The Empress, there it is, your new beginnings, birthing new beginnings, the Three of Swords. Um, and the hermit awakening judgment. So it's gaining some kind of 
around some kind of disappointment. It feels like you're learning a lesson around some kind of disappointment and you're using that to channel in this new beginning, to channel in this like rebirth. Because remember, the judgment card is in like traditional tarot is judgment day. Like you're being reborn and you're being, you know, assessed like are you going to heaven are you going to hell it, but it is like them standing out of the coffins right so again focusing on decision it's your judgment it's your decision how you want to act based on this but there is some kind of rebirth happening here um some kind of lesson that you're lear learning and choosing to be reborn maybe it's Maybe it deals with whatever this apology, whatever this closure, this truth, this clarity that's coming in for you around some kind of, you know, regret or guilt that happened in the past. What does that have to do with? Eight of Swords. Indecision. Not being able to make a decision. So there might have been something that was lost due to indecision, due to indecisiveness, whether it was yours or somebody else's, but there's something you're gaining clarity on and wisdom on that you're going to be using to create this new beginning. So Virgo, that's what I'm seeing popping up for you. If you are interested in diving deeper into this, check out the extended. Um, I'm going to be pulling archetype cards. I'm going to be pulling messages, just getting a clearer understanding of what specifically this energy could be. So if you're interested in that, check it out. If you want to work with me, be sure to follow me on IG. Um, I'll leave that link down below because I offer all my specials and I talk about my one-on-one -on -one coaching over there and just a lot of advice and tips in general of my own. So if you're interested in that, be sure to check it out. And yeah, check out my Venus Retrograde Intimate Group Coaching, one-on-one -on -one coaching uh, for the month of January. And I will see you in the extended. Bye.